Cirillo. What do you want? What kind of welcome is that? Gee, I don't know, Sonny. Why don't you take a look at the big picture, huh? You misrepresent yourself and your life to my best friend. You put her life in danger. You lie to me. You jeopardize my business, and you're still lying to me. So what do you expect, huh, Sonny? Come on in. Let's have a cup of tea. Well, we Not to mention hauling Brenda out of Luke's the other night and creating a really obnoxious scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, I want to apologize for that. Gee. I'm overwhelmed. Not that, not that I said anything I didn't mean, but I am sorry that things are very intense for us right now. We are business partners, and work is no place for personal emotions. Don't go printing any new business cards, Sonny, because we may not be partners for long. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll save that for later. I, uh, <clears throat> I have something for you. A couple of weeks ago, while everything was quite aesthetic, I, I, uh advanced a little cash out of my own pocket for Miguel's gig in New York. Now, you know, normally I wouldn't think twice about it, but since we're all so worried about dotting our I's and crossing our T's around here, I figured I'd better submit them, make everything accounted for. What are they? Well, these um, bills for broad sheets, these are for the printers, and there's also a uh, $400 expense that uh, doesn't have a receipt. Yeah? Why not? Well, I, I, I hired some kids to plaster Miguel's poster all over the city, wherever it said, no bills hmm. posted. Now, I, I don't mind paying for that myself if you have a problem with it. No. No, I mean, you know, I did that yeah. myself. I, but I only spent $200. Because, <laughs> of course, it was Rochester, not Manhattan. Well, I should have hired your kids. So, does that mean we are partners in crime? Get over yourself. What's he doing here? He can speak for himself, Ashton. Now, there's an understatement. What are you doing here, Sonny? Hey, go, 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 go. Strictly business. Lois is cutting me an L&B check for reimbursements uh, of expenses. Relax. The jet leaves in 15 minutes. I'll be in Boston in about an hour. Okay. Be careful. Always. I'll call you when I get to the Vermont. If it's okay with you, I'd like to tell my wife goodbye without an audience. Yeah, yeah. I'll, go. I'll get out of your way. Um, just put the check in the mail. No rush. Yeah. Oh, you, oh I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Um... This is unrelated. I just thought you might want to know the latest uh, on Stone. Yeah, of course. He's got a he's got a a, a virus in his retinas, and uh, the doctor says he's going to go blind. Oh what? My God, Sonny, no. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll see. You. job we discussed right right it can go down today yeah uh well, ash is going to be staying at the uh hotel Promont in boston now you take very good care of him now will you right, right. perfect bye Long, tall, and Sally. Hey, Whoa. <laughs> Excuse me, you know. Yeah. This is a big surprise. Your mood has just swung all the way back over to the good side of the scale. What's up? It's gonna be a beautiful night. You care to tell me why? I wish I could, but, uh... Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Got something to do with Ashton? You said it, I didn't. So I hope you're about to take the little worm 
have a long walk off a short pier. Huh? No, no. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh what? Uh-huh, nothing. Just do it, man. Do it and do it away from the club. And if you can, try to leave his wife out of it. Well, you know, at the moment, I'm upset here, too. You care to translate that? I tell you what. Just <laughs> keep your ear to the ground. The screams you will hear will be medleys. <laughs> Uh, Looks like a slow night. Look around. No, he uh, he took off for GH. Lucky he's been in an accident. How no, serious? I don't know. But Luke looked pretty grim when he left. Listen, I've got things under control here. If you I will hang tight till I hear from Luke. What do you say? Thank you. Loops. Uh, Mr. Krentos, please. You got him. Mr. Krentos, it's Gretel. Everything went perfectly. We just got the proof sheets back and the pictures came out great. Why can I get a look at them? Oh, we'll get them to you as soon as they're printed. I think you'll be real pleased. Oh, and uh, one more little thing. There may have been another complication for poor Mr. Ashton. Good news? If it mattered to you, you'd know about it. Then... Hey! Hey! Drop it! Any word on Stone? Nothing new. His spirits are pretty good, though. I can tell he's working on it. He's sleeping a lot. Well, that's probably a good thing. I'll stop by in the morning. He's like that. It, uh... It gets me crazy that we can't do anything about it. I know. But I put together a book for him. Um, a bunch of letters and poems and just stuff from everybody that's close to Stone. About the things we shared with him and what his friendship has meant to the people he loves. That sounds great. So I can count on you to contribute something. Well, I'm not like, you know, exactly the poetry type. Well, it doesn't have to be poetry. I mean, you can do anything <laughs> you want. Just something that lets him know how you feel about him. Sure, I can handle that. Cool. It's a very good idea. Um, it'll mean a lot to stop. Well, you know, that's how he is. Hey, there you are. You know that I called you last night to schmooze about the video and your machine wasn't even on? What? Did you have a bad night? Yeah. <laughs> you could say that again. My weasel has come out of his hole again. Your weasel? You can't possibly mean Sweet Nedley. Huh. I called him in his hotel room last night in Boston to whisper sweet nothings in his ear. Some babe answers the phone and starts playing games with me. No, I mean, she is obviously half in the bag. You, know, you could practically smell the alcohol over the phone. And then she says, oh, I'm sorry, he's out right now. Okay, so you didn't even speak to him? No. I took a fast flight to Beantown on the ELQ chopper, and I found his sorry butt sprawled all over his hotel bed, drunk as a skunk and half naked. Was he with someone? No, but she left her calling card all over the place. I'm little pieces of lacy lingerie decorating the walls and the floors and Nedley, and he had lipstick all over him. Oh, my God, what did you do? Waited for him to come, too, and then I clocked him a good one. Good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There has to be a rational explanation for this. There's no way. No. I don't think so. Making excuses for Nedley is a road I am not going down, Brenda. I have been there and I have done that. Hi. Hi. Uh, I need some help here. Um, my better judgment is telling me that maybe I shouldn't even mention this. But I have to know if I'm going crazy. I woke up this morning with my head about to explode and my jaw feeling like it was dislocated. There were various items in my hotel room that I had never seen before and I have no idea how they got there. 
So I canceled my appointment and hopped on the jet here. This is what I need to ask you. And I'm hoping that you have no idea what I'm talking about. <sighs> I had this bad dream last night. At least I pray that you're going to tell me that it was a dream. That you were in my hotel room. Oh, oh that wasn't a dream. That was your worst nightmare.